Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar Halach. And here's a brand new Halach for you, and it's for Wednesday, the first day of November, and the 12th day of Cheshvan. Here we go. You know that um, we're finishing up our unit today on special laws about saying Tehillim. Those are the Psalms written by mostly by uh, David HaMelech, by King David. We say them at all special occasions, but now to the uh, wondering about saying them at a burial site. So let me back up and tell you an important rule. It's a rule called Loe Glarush, which basically means that we don't like to show off our mitzvos in front of someone else who doesn't qualify for the mitzvos. If you're in a cemetery and your tzitzis are sticking out, you're sort of like taunting the dead who cannot perform the mitzvot tzitzis when they're dead, and there you are swinging around your tzitzis in front of the burial places. It's considered insensitive. So, so to uh, do all kinds of mitzvos in front of the burial place of the dead is considered an insensitive thing to do. So it, it brings up the question of what we're doing this week, which is, what about reciting Tehillim? That's a wonderful thing to be doing. Can I do that in front of the burial place of the dead? And most people say, sure, you are allowed to do that. It actually honors the dead. You're not taunting them. You're saying, hello, I consider this a very important place. This person buried here is my bubby, or it was my Rebbe, or it's a great righteous person. And that's why I want to say Tehillim here. So that is considered a beautiful thing to do. And uh, some people say that you can daven there too for that reason because you're showing, hello, I, I'm not taunting the dead. I wanted to daven at an important place. And the burial here of my bubby or this righteous person is a very important place. And that's why I'm davening here. That's not called taunting the mace. That's actually honoring the dead the, that are buried there. Some of you may know, as you hear me speak about this, Kevin Rachel, uh, the burial place where Rachel is buried that everyone goes to visit, lots and lots of people do tons of davening there, and that's all considered okay because, again, you're honoring the place by saying, hello, I'm davening here, not to taunt or whatever, I'm davening here because this is the place that I feel my, my prayers, my tefillos, will be so well received because it's the holy place where Rachel Imenu, Rachel, our, our mother, is buried, and that's why people do daven at Keva Rachel. There are people who do go outside, and they daven in a kind of side area where uh, it's Keva Rachel, but, uh, but it certainly seems to be okay to daven right at the spot, and that's because uh, we're honoring the, the memory of Rachel, who is buried there, by showing that this is the important place where we want to daven. Thanks for logging on, and log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.